If you have the problem in Premiere Pro and you can't load MKV files and you get this error message file format not supported, I have two solutions for you today. Hey and welcome to my channel, I'm Daniel, I'm a travel vlogger, filmmaker and this channel is all about filmmaking tech and business. So if you're into that, hit like, subscribe, ding a ding in the bang bang gong and let's go and jump into solution number one. So open your file explorer and go to view and check mark file name extension. Now you can see the endings of every file. So change the file name from MKV to AVI and now try if you can load it into Premiere Pro. Sometimes this already helps and solves the problem. In my case it wasn't working and I even tried the media encoder but I had the same problem file format not supported. So I went into the internet and the solution now is to find a program where you can convert one file from this file format to another file format and the one that I recommend to you this one is a free software it's called Handbrake. So just type in Handbrake and you will find it here on the website just download it for the system you have. Because I just reinstalled Windows 10 I had to also install Microsoft Net Framework. So after that, install that. And now you load your MKV file into Handbrake. And it will open this huge dialog where you can do so many settings. I will not do a rundown from all of the settings. The most important is what is the video file format you want to have. For me, it was enough to have it in 1080 with 30 frames. But you can change here under settings all the different formats that you want. Then you should also select a folder where you want to render the new file format. It will create a copy. And then you can hit start encoding. By the way, the cool thing about the handbrake is it's kind of like the media encoder and you can queue up different renderings so you can actually put in a couple of files and render them all at the same time. So in my case I was using an mp4 format and after the render was done I had no problems to put this file into Premiere Pro and work with this file. If you found this video helpful hit like if you want to know more about filmmaking and more tips and tricks in Premiere Pro hit subscribe and ding a ding a bang bang gong. I'm Daniel and we we'll see us in the next video. Bye!